Hello everyone, this is Via Satoshi and I'm your host, Satoshi, it's an expression. Today is the 28th of October 2021. So, why am I not buying Shiba or Dogecoin? Right, so before we get into the video deep, please like my videos and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications. And I guess um, also please leave your comments below so it helps me to see what people think of my videos and also I can make videos accordingly. Right, so what are these Shibas and Dodge and all these coins? So, you know, even by the admission of the, the creators of those coins, they are meme coins. So what are meme coins? They are literally a joke. Uh, no fundamentals, um, no tokenomics. In the sense, there is tokenomics, but they are like compared to Bitcoin or Ethereum or Cardano or Polkadot or those major coins. They are almost um, inconsistent or literally, you know, not there, I would say. So say, for example, if you say Dogecoin, Dogecoin doesn't have a maximum limit and it has a massive inflation where Shiba coin has one quadrillion Shiba tokens. And at the moment, only 350 to 400 trillion is on supply. So I'm not even sure where the other 60% is. I don't need to do some research because I'm not never buying that. I'm not even touching those things with a long 10 feet pole. So why am I not doing it? Why is it pumping big time? There's few reasons for this, okay? So this is a very quick and short video. I'm not going to go dig deeper into the fundamentals or what they are doing and all these things because it's pure speculation next level so speculation squared i would say so if you say bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are speculation speculating in the cryptocurrency market is like the next level of speculations it's high leverage high risk so why am i not um, saying that i'm not investing in in i wouldn't even say it's investing in the first place why am i not buying shiba it's my own opinion, but it's not because I'm saying you couldn't make money on it. Because uh, if you see the articles recently, if you would have put 1,000 pounds in January of 2021, uh, I think they're saying the first or second, uh, you would now have 500 million pounds. But literally, um, you always chase the ghost, you know, chase the train that already left. So no point talking about that. So literally a lot of people made a lot of money. But then I would ask an honest question. If you ask yourself that could you go to sleep without worrying about your investments, then okay, you go ahead and do it. But why am I not doing it? Because I have better options and better fundamentals. Why would I go into a coin which is created by someone because dogecoin was pumped by elon musk and they think an another meme coin will do great uh, when i can invest in a coin uh, which is called bitcoin with a great fundamentals uh, with institutional adoption and all kind of other great things and a limited supply of 21 million and it proved itself for the last 10 years so what is going on you know, in my opinion, there's a big issue going on here. The cryptocurrency market is being diverted to see that it's all about making money. As I mentioned in my previous videos, it is not all about making money. It is about decentralization, getting the control back to the masses and, um, you know, economic freedom is one of that. So if you see the volume of shiba coin in the recent days i have even like went above the volume of uh, daily volume of ethereum almost um twi you know twice as much or like uh, nearly coming uh, to surpass a uh, bitcoin's volume almost you know it didn't do it so and it's now in the top 10 the thing a lot of people don't realize is that um in the 2017 bull run, you had two bull runs before this, but after the markets were open, 2013 and 2017. The coins in the top 10 in 2017, the only ones survived in the top 10 till now is Bitcoin and Ethereum. So, it's rest is history. A lot of people don't know. 
what I'm thinking now is this is the big picture story. So Bitcoin and the other big ones, big cryptocurrencies crashed by 5 to 10 percent and they recovered today like 2,000 pounds or three and a half thousand dollars uh, in uh, Bitcoin and um, around um, four or five percent on Ethereum, like in an hour candle. I was surprised. There's a manipulation going on, people. As you know, these institutions were last to the cryptocurrency train. So they will do everything they can to divert the masses into making money on these shit coins, I would call them, and then they can actually bag those other coins. Because as you know, retail investors probably don't have billions. So what they would do is they will sell their Bitcoin and then go and buy Shiba, Inu and Dogecoin. And even Dogecoin pumped 30% today. Thing you have to remember is the institutions are not buying Bitcoin. Um, you know, they're, sorry, they're not buying uh, the, the Shibas or Dogecoins or the meme coins. They're buying Bitcoin and Ethereum and the Cardanos and, and Polkadots and um, the other top 10 currencies. Why they are doing that? Because they, they know long-term fundamentals of those coins. So just be aware of it. And also be aware, the market is actually getting to that point where they're like, whatever you put the money on, you're going to get massive returns. Just make sure you cash out, get your initial investment or W investment, take it out, put it into Bitcoin or take it out as cash so you know that you already protected your initial investment and made some money out of it. Yeah, leave everything else. Do you know? Let it do whatever it wants to do. Go to Moon or Mars or whatever. But just don't be crazy. Just be aware of the investments. Investments are not just about... Uh, making money for today and tomorrow. If you're going to do that, just go and do some betting, I would say, you know. I'm I'm kind of not uh, for it, but, you know, that's kind of what is happening at the moment. Again, this is not initial, um, initial idea of investments, at least in my opinion. So this is not investment advice, by the way, guys. I'm not a financial advisor. You don't have to follow my opinion. This is just purely my opinion, and I just wanted to put it there so people can actually uh, get a balanced opinion on this because everyone is pumping everything now and just be more careful about it. I'm not saying that uh, don't take risks, don't be reckless. That's all I would say. And until the next video, better luck investing. Hopefully no one gets wrecked. And um, yeah, do your own research, do your due diligence, and until next video, it's bye from me.